What's good everyone, it's Van Wheel Jams. I'm here today to review something special. Now, if you're a fan of Air Maxes and you're a fan of Air Bubbles, I'm here to present the shoe with the tallest, largest air unit around. It's the Air 270. So just to say a little bit about me, I was one part of 1987 Icon, which presented the largest Air Max exhibition in London. I'm into my Air Maxes, I'm into my Nike. So of course, Crep Junkie asked me to come down, do this review. So I had to represent with some major OG heat. I had to come through with the Blinks, the OGs, the original Yeezy One Blinks. So let's get into the shoe. This shoe is based off two really classic, 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 classic models. The Air Max 93, which is a shoe that I personally love, can't fault it at all, and the Air 180, which there will be a retro coming out this year, a little later on. Both are two amazing classics. With that DNA, Nike have come with the Air 270. Not Air Max 270, Air 270. In terms of selling points, this shoe has the tallest air unit found on any Air Max, which is a massive selling point for it. Also, it's the first Air Max that wasn't designed and built for running. So don't bother putting these on on a Sunday morning and running around your local park, because it's just not gonna work. These are just for casual, chilling, relaxing, walking, or even queuing up. Rock these. If truth be told, when I first saw this shoe, I wasn't feeling it too much. But then, as I keep looking at it and I've seen other exclusive colorways that are gonna be coming out later run down the line, the shoe has grown on me, big time. Just like its soul unit, big time. As we're getting into 2018 and all of that good stuff, they wanna make their shoes real light. So it comes with a dual there, mesh upper. Now, what's gonna be good about this in later designs and everything like that is you're gonna be able to have two-tone. So this is black on black, but soon you'll be able to have black on red. So you'll have some really nice detail shining through this upper real soon. I'm sure Nike are working on something. Another design point that is quite interesting is that they've decided to go with two mini swooshes. Rather than having the large one and the mini one, they've gone with two mini sluices. Something that you don't really find too much on multiple Air Max models or even multiple Nikes in general. So I guess they're moving forward with things and they wanted to go another design route. Hence why they've got the large air bubble, they've got the two layered mesh, and now you've got the two mini sluices which I think will be a reoccurring theme on this shoe and other models as well. Also, if we look from the top, you can see it's got an asymmetric slanted lacing system with a little tuck-in feature. I don't really like to have my laces bowed and showing, so I like this feature. It makes the shoe look neat, makes it look tidy. You can't fault the shape, it's got a sleek shape, I like that. We don't want no clunky shoes or any shoes with a horrible toe box. They've heat pressed the front. So again, it makes things a lot lighter on your foot, which let's be real, that's what we all want when we're rocking shoes. If we look at this shoe from multiple angles, we see nice touches of detail from the wraparound air bubble, the 270 on the back, we have the mini sluice on the inside followed by the 270, which are all very small, but nice touches. And that's what we like when it comes to our shoes. It's the small, nice pieces of details. We have a 270 on the tongue. Notice in all the branding, there's no air mention of Air Max. It's all air. We have air on the back. Let me get right in here. We have the new branding, the Air Max, 
on the insole, which is another nice feature. And just in general, this shoe's won me over. It has won me over. I wasn't really feeling it before, but I like what they've done with the air bubble. I can't wait to see this in other colorways. These will be available at Nike Town and other leading stockists on the 1st of February in this colorway. And for other colorways, we should be seeing some real nice exclusives on the 26th of March, AKA Air Max Day. So, what are your thoughts on the Air 270? What do you think? Are you going to be there from day one? Are you waiting for other colorways? Please let us know down below. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel to find out more info on this shoe and many other releases coming in the future. I've been Van Wiljams. Please everyone, take care of yourselves.